Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Educator Freak, where we talk about everything preserving our African culture. Today, I'll be talking about food and medicine. My name is Ayua Nega Male, may simply called Ayua. Yeah, today I want to talk to you guys about food and medicine. You see, it pains me when I see African children in African homes saying, or their parents saying their kids don't want to eat African food. It's really, really painful because we are giving our culture away for nothing. See, I keep saying this, I know people don't like me saying this, but I have to say it because it's the truth. Western education religion and migration is one those are the three main thing one thing or killing african culture you could migrate to anywhere you want to be anywhere in the world but keep your culture you could have any skills acquire any knowledge at any level but keep your culture you could imbibe into any religion, but keep your culture. That is one thing I will keep telling people. There's difference between religion, education, modernization, and keeping culture. Your culture is you. Your culture is your identity, your color, your name, where you come from, your country that you belong. These are you, and you can't change it. Even if you bleach your skin, change your name, change your accent, it's still going to be you. So, why do we want to make ourselves inferior before other country, other people, other ethnics? No, we shouldn't do that. We should be able to promote, project ourselves and let people know who we are, where we come from. Let us flaunt it. It's good to be African. It's good to come from Africa. Africa is rich. Africa is blessed. Africa is going to be the biggest continent in the world right here now. And that's the truth. Everything the old world needs, we've got them naturally, easily in Africa. So why do we want to let people make us feel inferior? And that's why it, it gets me hungry when people, when African people say, um, we're going for a date. And the next thing they mention, they mention Chinese restaurant, they mention uh, Turkish restaurant, English restaurant, um, Indian restaurant. So what happened to African restaurants? So it is how you promote yourself. It is how you flaunt your thing. Then others people want to go there. I've seen so many of my white friends who love going to Nigerian clubs, who love going to Ghanaian restaurants, who love going to Congo clubs and restaurants, and they love it. If you don't bring them closer to you, they wouldn't know how beautiful your culture is. So stop doing this to ourselves. Stop doing this to our children. From day one, let them start eating your food let them start consuming your food medication is another thing herbs i remember those days when people would tell you oh bitter cola cola garlic all of these things is all rubbish it's from africa it tastes bitter but now science have begin to prove it to us that there's a lot of nutrient medicine power in all of these organic foods. Now, everybody is now claiming I have organic, I'm vegetarian. These are the things they came telling us it's rubbish. But now, every one of them is diving, returning back to nature. And we have this nature simple behind us. Many of us, many of our fathers, they do have it at the backyard. So we should begin to embrace our own medicine. Yeah, our African herbs, these are good for us. This period of coronavirus, a lot of people, a lot of Africans started taking these African herbs. Now we've been saying it, 
in Africa, one part of Africa have just discovered the medicine, medicine from Africa, curing coronavirus, curing malaria and all of these things. I remember years ago when I had typhoid fever, I've been taking injection, going to the hospitals and nothing happened. And one gentleman just introduced me to our African herbs and I took it for three days. And after that day, I became fine. And since then, I've never had that fever or any kind of sickness from such story or typhoid or something like that. So we should begin to learn how to preserve our culture by eating our food, by taking our medicine. Our medication is powerful. It's just around our corner, around the, 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 the villages, around in the bush. In the farmland, we'll find them leaves, herbs, so many things. We can't start refining them. We can start working on them. I know some of these pharmaceutical companies get herbs from Africa and they have to grind them, modify it and put them into capsule or into tablet. And we buy them. We buy what they, what we have and we find it, make it look like it's better. The natural one is the best. So guys, if you want to take your girl out, if you want to go out with your family, if you want to go out with your friends, with your colleagues on a Friday evening, please make visit to African restaurant. Go out there and eat African food. Pepper soup, go and eat it. Jollof rice, get it. Fried yam, fried plantain. We have beautiful food, many, many. These people just have one or two foods and they have to promote them. If we don't promote ours, not jollof rice is international recognized. We could make yam porridge recognized also. We could make beans recognized. We could make fried plantain, fried yam known to the old world. Why not? It's things that we found in our land. So let's keep African culture. This is where we keep our African culture. So join me on Educate Our Faith as we keep African culture. Please email me if you want me to come to your restaurant to make a video to talk about this food. If you have a restaurant you want me to talk, you want me to bring them to you and advertise you, just email me on educateafrica gmail.com or go to our website www.educateafrica.com My name is Yua. And be good and enjoy the rest of your day and the week and your new months and the remaining part of the year. Stay safe and stay good. Love you guys. Bye.